Hi, welcome back to Tech Tuesday. I'm Mike Nicolette, a senior design engineer here at PXG, and I'm joined uh, by Caleb Krolock. And today we're going to talk to you a little bit about the benefits of uh, a high MOI and perimeter weighting and how we get that done with our golf clubs. Okay, um, just a little background. Uh, when we first started to develop our irons uh, here at PXG, uh, Bob Parsons, our founder, had some pretty unique ideas on what he was looking for in the way of performance. Well, one of the things he asked us for uh, initially, he said, I'd like to have a club that looks like a blade, but is more forgiving than a cavity back. And I said, uh, okay, Bob, you know those are polar opposites. And he said, I absolutely understand that. He goes, but it's your job to figure it out. So uh, myself and another engineer here, Brad Schweiger, we got together and uh, uh, kind of started brainstorming. We decided that uh, you know to create this this more forgiving golf club. Obviously, you need to have a very high MOI, and so that requires perimeter weighting. If you don't have a cavity back golf club, um, it's hard to you know position the mass to the extremes of the head uh, to achieve the goal. So uh, we decided to basically hide the cavity on the inside of the golf club. So from the back, you can see no cavity. Uh, we do have quite a few ports drilled out for some very uh, high density tungsten weighting, uh, but on the inside of the club, it's all CNC machined uh, from a raw forging, and this allows us to mass position uh, to the very extreme side of the golf club, creating a high MOI. Uh, and that's uh, basically what we do with the club head. Uh, and then Caleb is going to talk to you about how uh, MOI is. Uh, basically increased as we go through the different size of club heads that we offer uh, through a fitting process. So, when we're talking about MOI, we're talking about moment of inertia, and that really just means resistance to twisting. So on your miss hits, the club's gonna wanna stay straighter, you're gonna have more ball speed and more consistent distance. So one thing that we have is we have three different sets of irons that you can choose from. We have our 0311Ts, they're more our tour, smaller shape, our 0311s and then our 0311 XF. So what that really means is as you go across from the smaller, more tour driven shape, it gets larger, the blade length gets bigger, and there's more offset. Uh, and, and you're really, as you're creating a larger head, you're getting more perimeter weighting, more forgiveness. Uh, as we do that, we're also adding the offset as well as some thickness around the top line uh, to really dial it in for that player. So we want uh, the the club head to really fit that player and that player tight. So more offset is going to help you to keep the ball from slicing and really help you turn the ball over. And as that club head's getting longer, that MOI is increasing, but it's also increasing about the shaft axis, which can make it a little harder to turn over. So what we're doing is really helping the golfer to get the ball high in the air, get it turned over, and really get it going. That's great, uh, Caleb. And I'm just going to add one more thing. He, he made uh, mention of this. so. Two important ways that we analyze a golf club when we do our design work is we want to analyze the MOI about the center of gravity, right? So that's your resistance to twisting about a vertical axis that goes through that point. And that's going to be basically, uh, you know, if we miss hit the golf club, how forgiving is it? So in other words, how much does it twist uh, if we miss the center? So if it twists more, less energy gets transferred into the ball, which means it's not gonna go as far. So a high MOI about the CG is very important. Caleb also alluded to the MOI uh, about the shaft axis. Now that's another way we analyze a golf club because as we make the head longer from heel to toe, so as we go from our tour version to our extreme forgiveness version, the length of the club actually increases, giving us more face area. It's much easier for the average golfer to look at. It doesn't look intimidating. And it's also more forgiving since the actual mass of the club is you know, positioned more extreme. You have your hosel weight that constitutes one mass. And then as you grow the club, you have more mass out to the toe. So uh, again, what Caleb alluded to is that uh, a longer club could be more difficult to square up since the center of gravity moves further from the shaft axis. Okay, so to combat that, we add offset uh, to a longer club. So what happens is that when we let these hang in balance, uh, they're going to balance virtually the same. And that what that means to you as a golfer is that when you swing them, they're going to square up the same. So we don't really want a club that's... Uh, 
influence one way or another directly, we'd like for you to make your golf swing and the club come back to square each and every time.